Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Uh, today I'm going to be recreating my hireling tutorial, uh, how to create a hireling and place them in the world of Skyrim. Uh, I made a, a couple of errors and missed one or two things out last time, so uh, I'll see if I can either delete that video or leave a link to this one. So uh, to get started, you want to have your own NPC. Excuse me a sec. Want to have your own NPC? If you don't know how to make an NPC stroke follower, then uh, go and follow the link, which will either be an annotation somewhere, or I'll just leave the link in the description. Uh, you can go and learn how to do that. So I've already gone ahead and made a follower. He's called Brian. Uh, this guy's a nice Argonian. And the first tab that we're going to open, uh, this is after you've created your own. You want to go into factions. So we're going to alternate click and new. We're going to be adding about four factions to this. We want current and potential hiring, which are there. And just like the uh, follower tutorial, if you've made a follower or watched the tutorial, you're going to need current and potential follower too. And the two current factions, press F2 on them and change them to minus one. That's very important, otherwise the dialogue won't even show at all. So that bit's done first. Uh, in terms of the follower sort of state, you are going to need a relationship with the uh, the actual player. Or well, this guy's going to need a relationship with the player, which would be you. So under relationships, you're going to need to alternate click and new. And you're going to have to add a relationship status to the player. You'll need to confirm your actor first at least once and then reopen it for this to actually work. And please do be warned, sometimes there's a glitch with a kit which is a big problem. Uh, the parent NPC will not work and your NPC's name won't appear there. Uh, if that happens you've either got to reinstall the kit and start again or the safe thing to do that usually gets around it is just to make a duplicate NPC rather than one from scratch. That usually gets around it. Uh, child NPC would be player, so type in player. I've already done this. That says player inventory, but I've always already got one for player, which is why it's not showing. But it'll be player. A relationship can be friend or ally, and then you just set that up. Uh, that's pretty important because sometimes that can affect things. A uh, number of other things: AI data, making sure that they're nothing past aggressive, so they're not very aggressive or frenzied. Otherwise, they're just going to try and gut everyone in the village you leave them in which is never a good thing. Always good to give them a basic AI package. I've got a tutorial for that as well. Uh, you can go find that in the playlist or I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. Uh, so they'll want a basic package that they're actually wandering around and doing a few things when you find them. Obviously, yeah, give them stuff in their inventory and their, their clothing and all that. So main thing is them factions. I did say I'm not going to go through that, so I'll leave it at that. But just check the standard things. So now that we've actually got... Um, Ooh, hold on a minute. Did I actually confirm that or click off it? Let's just check check the factions there. Now I've taken the factions off. Okay, there we go. So I've done that. Uh, next thing that you're going to want to do is uh, pretty much the tricky part. I'm not going to show you how to do custom dialogue and after patch 1.6 I think it was, Bethesda decided to make that so it just doesn't seem to work at all. Thanks Bethesda. But um, the way I'm going to do it is you're going to have to select a voice for a hireling that is already in the game and use their voice for your follower. So uh, actually me making an Argonian might not have been the best idea because an Argonian voice won't work with it. But it doesn't matter because it's just a tutorial. So you'd be better off with a Nord or a Red Guard or something. So uh, go and have a look on the wiki site for an actor uh, which is uh, a hireling and check that it's got the voice that you want. Uh, we're just going to use Vorstag's voice, so as you can see, Hiling Vorstag there. The way we do this, we need to go into Character, Quest, and Hiling. So once you're in Hiling, I've already gone ahead and uh, done most of this, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. Uh, basically, you'll see that here it says DF Brian. All I've basically done is go onto everyone that says Vorstag, alternate click and copy it and then all that you have to do is go into it and then it'll usually say here over actor it'll actually say Vorstag so you click on that and you just change this to your own NPC so in my case it's DF Brian so what you'll have to do you'll have to obviously confirm everything 
and then you'll have to find every one of Vorstag's lines in here and you make a copy and you do the same thing you just change that get is ID and you change it to your actor so anything that says Vorstag you change it to your actor so there's one in that menu there that menu there and one in this menu so I think there's three overall in the hiring section once you've done that you confirm it and then there's also uh, something I missed in the last tutorial the part that allows you to um, actually dismiss your um, hiring uh, dialogue follower is what you want so put follow in the filter and you'll find it as long as you're under quest obviously open that up and we're going to pretty much do the same thing in here uh, you just find anything that says Vorstag make a copy of it and then edit the copy and then change that same ID to your actor and there's a number of them so just check all of these uh, sub menus make sure that you find all the ones uh, again there's a there's a few of these it's basically just uh, the basic follower commands and uh, to allow them to actually carry stuff take stuff off you otherwise if you just do the hiring ones then you're not going to be able to dismiss them and they also won't carry any items for you so once you've actually done all that you just want to drag and drop your character into a, a location I've put mine in Riften uh, you can put yours in an inn, you can put them anywhere obviously uh, just make sure that where you are placing them in the world is fully nav meshed so if it's part of the game already it will be uh, if it's your own custom house make sure it's fully nav meshed you've done all the usual otherwise they're not going to show in there so if you wonder why your character doesn't show it's probably because where you've placed them doesn't have any nav mesh or the creation kit being its usual self uh, so after you've done all that you obviously want to save it go in game and your character should be there waiting for you and ready to be hired obviously you're going to need to make sure that you've got some money otherwise they're not going to join you so I'm just going to nip in game and show you our new hiring fully working okay so here we are we are now in game uh, we have a funny voiced Argonian uh, what I did have to make sure of is that my voice type was either nothing or match the voice type of the person's dialogue I was using. So if we click on him, if it's a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's as no you can see, uh, this Vorstag dialogue Skyrim. does go on for some time. He'll tell you his whole life story before you can actually hire him. So sometimes you get little lags and glitches, and voice doesn't happen, but the menus do. That's just a creation kit thing. Once again, uh, we can trade things with him. We can take all his gold, lockpicks, and torch, so he can't see where he's going and you can also dismiss him as well as order him around so Let's he go. should follow us so there we are we have a fully working hiring uh, I think I've included everything this time uh, so thanks very much for watching please visit my website uh, join my steam group you can keep up to date in all my social networks uh, even befriend me on steam if you wish and I will speak to you next time